Hello everyone. This is a science project on how to make a lemon battery. Now we all know the principle that if two different metal electrodes are immersed into an acid, it generates flow of electrons, which is what we call as electricity. So the requirements for this project are a galvanized nail or a screw will also do. Then you will require a lemon fruit. Uh, other fruits like apple, banana can also work. You will need copper wire or copper coin also. Our government doesn't issue a copper coin so I have used this desoldering wire. You will also need two jumper cables with a crocodile pin. Now you got to drill the screw inside the lemon this much see and then give a cut to the other end here and immerse the the copper wire two electrodes that is a zinc electrode and a copper electrode this that is immersed into citric acid citric acid is is an acid present in lemon in tremendous quantities so that will generate a flow of electrons and you will get a DC type of electricity first I'll connect the jumper cables so that the voltage won't fluctuate you see the voltage is 0 0.99 volts 9899 volts but the negative sign here represents that we have connected the opposite terminals that means I have connected the negative one with copper and the positive one with zinc which should be the other way around this copper wire is a positive terminal and this zinc is a negative terminal Let's check out when we turn the other way around. This is positive 0.98. That means zinc is negative and copper is positive this is an LED lamp or LED bulb and uh, you got to know something about it before you proceed the experiment so LED is basically light emitting diode and uh, there are two terminals it has a positive terminal and negative terminal I'll show you the picture on how to recognize the positive and the negative terminal so the identification of the terminal is based on the location of uh, the flat spot so the flat spot represents the negative terminal and the other is the positive terminal we'll connect it to our lemon battery and see what happens so I've dimmed the lights so that if at all there's any glow it will be visible so we'll just connect the terminals this is the negative terminal Let's see if there is any glow. No, there isn't any. So, the voltage generated is just less than 1 volt. So, we'll need some more lemons to generate more voltage and to make this LED bulb glow. So, what we'll do is we'll connect multiple lemons in a series. So, or else you can just cut the lemon into four parts and then connect them in series and even that would do so this is my lemon battery assembly I've cut lemon into five pieces so that it generates about five volts and uh, I've connected them in series so you see I've tied 
the zinc nail with the copper wire and just inserted the copper wire over here and to the negative to the positive the negative the electrons flow from negative to positive here and from here again to negative and here positive so the current keeps on adding and uh, this way see I have connected the jumper cables this is the negative terminal as you remember zinc nail with this this is the first lemon and this is the positive terminal I have connected it to positive input into the multimeter and we'll see how much the voltage reading is it is 5.43 volts and I guess it is enough to light a LED bulb so, so let's collect, connect jumper cables with the LED so this is positive and See, this is glowing. And if I just drop it, so if I connect it, so if I drop it. Thank you.